Hi, good morning. In today's video, we are going to explain the first part of topic in grade 10 mathematics. By the way, I would like to introduce myself. I am Mr. Mark Abdul Wahid. I am a depth ed public school teacher here in Tawi Tawi. So before that, I would just like to ask a favor if you want to have more notifications and videos in mathematics, just click this one and don't forget to click also this one for your update so before that let me just uh, tell you about sequences sequence it is a list of things usually numbers that are in order so in real life just imagine a seats in a stadium may mga intervals tayong pinag-uusapan doon before we will answer as example or solve a problem we have to understand first the first part so let's begin with a sequence as a rule so when we say sequence as a rule there is a pattern of interval between numbers a sequence as a formula consider the formula if we have a formula 2n plus 1 uh, let's say this is part of a formula of a sub n equals to 2n plus 1 Determine the 100 term of the sequence 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so forth. So, how will you determine the 100 term? It is very hard for us to continue this pattern up to 100 term. That's the purpose of arithmetic sequence. All right, let's begin to the first type of the sequence which is called the arithmetic sequence. So an arithmetic sequence is also an arithmetic progression. It is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between the two consecutive terms is constant. That constant is called the common difference. So this is very interesting in the part of arithmetic sequence because in a common difference, uh, there are two ways that we are going to determine. Not all the time that the common difference is positive. So we have a formula A sub n equals A sub 1 plus D quantity n minus 1. So in this formula, um, usually, ang ginagawa ko sa loob ng klase during my or classroom activities, uh, pinapakanta ko sila para hindi nila makalimutan yung formula. O parang chanting, maybe. A sub n equals A sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. By the way, wag kayong malito kung halimbawa yung, yung value ng d is here. It's the same. When you multiply something, uh, either way, pwede mong balik tarin. So, so, let's have an example. We have example 1 here. What is the 10th term of the arithmetic sequence 5, 12, 19, 26, and so forth? Let us assume the value of this formula. So, we are going to use the formula for that one. A sub n equals to A sub 1 plus the common difference d n minus 1 so before we will going to use that formula let us assume that the value of the first term a sub 1 from this given is 5 the other given here aside from the first term or the a sub 1 the value of n which we are going to solve we are going to solve for the 10th term. So, the value of n is 10. We need to get the common difference. When you use the positive common difference, uh, it is based on the given. If the given is ascending order, when I say ascending order, uh, from 5 going to 12, medyo tumataas yung value niya. So, tandaan sa common difference automatically, it should become a positive sign. As you have seen here, from 5 to 12, uh, mentally, kaya naman natin sigurong uh, makita kung anong value ng common difference between 5 and 12, or mathematically, you just subtract this value, the 12, 
and the term preceding it. So when we subtract 12 minus 5, so we have the value of the common difference of positive 7. That's it. So these are the values that we are going to use. We are going to solve for the 10 term. We have the value of a sub 1 is 5 plus the common difference of 7, which is this one. We have 7. Then we have the value of n here is 10 minus 1. A sub 10 equals to 5. Okay, basically, we don't need to add 5 and 7. According to the rule of PEMDAS, we need to simplify first the parentheses or maybe exponent kung meron tayo. So, in this case, we have the parentheses here. So, we have 7 multiplied to 9. So, simplification of 10 minus 1 is 9. We have a sub 10 equals to 5. So, what's the value of 7 multiplied to 9? 63. So, 63. So, final answer for that, A sub 10 equals to 68. Okay. So, that's the value of the 10 term. Now, marami sa atin ang hindi sigurado. How sure we are that the value of A sub 10 or the 10 term is 68? So, by using practical method, we are going to check kung totoo ba siya. Let's prove it if the value of the 10 term is 68. So, let's begin on getting the given. So, checking. So, this is just part of to be sure. So, let's check. So, we have 5. We have 12. We have 19. We have 26. Now, if you can see, these are just the given. So, the value of 5 is the first term. The value of 12 is the second term. The value of 19 is the third term. The value of 26 is the fourth term. So, we are going to use or we need to get the 10th term. Let's just write it in this manner. It's somewhere here. Just like this one. So, checking lang ito. Wala itong hindi ito kasama sa solution. Now, Remember that the value of the common difference is 7. So, if we are going to add from 26, uh, since we have 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 7 is 19, plus 7 is 26, so we are going to add plus 7. We, we have 33 here, added to 7 again. We have 40, added to 7, 47, plus 7, 54, plus 7, 61, plus 7, 68. We are sure that the 10th term, the value of the 10th term of the uh, arithmetic sequence 5, 12, 19, 26 is 68 because according to this pattern that the 10th term is 68. That's how arithmetic sequence works. Before I will end this video, for me, mathematics needs hard work and perseverance. Just exert more effort. Huwag natin isipin na mahirap siya gawin. Tatandaan lang natin na tayo'y hindi lahat ng tao ay binigyan ng kakayanan sa mat pero binigyan tayo ng pag-iisip kung paano natin kakayanin ang isang bagay. Thanks a lot and thank you for watching this video and I hope see you next time, next video. Thank you and have a good day.